Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Fish and Grills. So today we're gonna clean up a bunch of fish, but tonight we're gonna cook up a Pananu pot pie. Stay tuned. for this episode of Welcome back everybody. Here we have our main ingredient for tonight. Star eye parrotfish, also known as Pananu. This is one of Hawaii's favorite parrotfishes. Made a sweeter, softer. You see it about a star eye. Very, very beautiful fish. All right, so we clean it. We gotta get off these thick, thick scales. Yeah, right here. So how we do that is with a butter knife. So you're gonna scoop underneath and pull back. See all these big scales coming off. This is a Pananu, one of seven species of parrotfish that reside here in Hawaii. They're also known as Starry Eye, Bucktooth, Christmas, Caroline, and Rock Parrotfish. Females appearing in a shade of brown and dark red. All right, now that we're scaleless, now time to rip out the guts. I'm gonna open this belly. This belly's kind of already open from the previous shot. We cut through the gills and the male with a shade of green and dark blue. Open up like a book. Scoop out his gills. All are born female until reaching maturity, while some remain female and others become male. All right, so now we're scaleless and now we're gutless. We're gonna rinse, fillet, dice it up. And we're gonna get our ingredients for a pot pie. Stay tuned. All right, we've got the pot of new chilling in the cooler. We checked at home all of our ingredients. We have all the vegetables. All we really need is heavy cream, unsalted butter. And we're gonna make a modified one with cumin mushroom and golden mushroom for those who are lactose intolerant, like this guy. <laughs> so, um, so let's go on, get the ingredients, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Sounds good. Chica -chica. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Okay, we have all of our, all of our ingredients for our pot pie. 
sugar, flour, butter, and shortening. That's for our crust. All right, we're gonna make that. Then for our stir fry, we have our celery, carrots, onions, potatoes, and we're gonna throw in some bacon in there because we're the F and G boys. We do what we want. Mm -hmm. And then we have our main ingredient to the left, our star and pananu. That's gonna be stirred in while we're cooking the stir fry to put into our pot pie. Stick around, see how it comes out. Some flour, some sugar, some butter. Shorten it. All right, so we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about half an hour to an hour. Let it sit, rise, and let everything just come together. Probably make another batch. It's probably not gonna be enough for three pot pies. All right, so our dough is in the refrigerator, chilling, and it's all compressing with each other. So that's set to go. And now we're gonna fillet our pot anew, making it into little bite-sized pieces, getting it ready for the inside of the pot pie. This species of parrotfish can be found off the east coast of Africa, part of the Indian Ocean, the Galapagos Islands, and some parts of South Japan, mainly feeding on algae, seagrass, and dead coral. This fish is not on the watch list for Cigatera. Growing up to 20 inches in length, the Hawaii State record came in at 8.25 pounds caught off the shores of Oahu back in 2001. This fish has rich, soft, flaky meat, mild in taste, and best prepared stuffed, baked, steamed, or grilled. And in this case, in a delicious Pananu pot pie. Ribs, collars. With maple bacon, of course. Skeleton. Thank you, Tata Woods, for the beautiful chopping board. Makes our job easier. Mm. Alright, we have our fillets now. We're gonna cut it off the pin bones. That's the bones in the middle. Then we're gonna dice it up. Right, we have our pot of new dices ready to go. We're gonna rinse all this off. We're gonna get started on our the guts of the pot pie, and then we're gonna go from there. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna mix all of our vegetables together in one big bowl, and then we're gonna separate it in threes because we're gonna make three pot pies, and then we're gonna do the same thing with our fish too. And then we have one. We're gonna do cream of mushroom. What are we gonna do? Golden mushroom. And then what are we gonna do with heavy cream, which is the, the, the original style. But we're gonna mix it up with the cream mushroom and the golden mushroom just to see how it, just to experiment. And then add the bacon. And the bacon, yeah, because we're the fish and girls boys, we do what we want. <laughs> Now we're gonna cut up our bacon, cut this in threes, pop, 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 dice it up, fry this first. Then we're gonna put in one third of each one, mix it with flour, and then our sauce of choice at that time being, add in our fish, and that goes into the pot pie. So we're gonna dice up our bacon, use this as the base. I'm supposed to use butter, so I'm gonna use a little bit of butter, but I wanna use a lot of this grease extra flavor because we the fng boys you do what you want <laughs> <laughs> maple bacon it is all right so before we fry up everything i want to make the bottoms of our pot pie so here's our dough has been sitting in the refrigerator for about half an hour so we're going to flat it out put the bottoms seal the sides and then put the guts inside. Stay tuned. All right, pot pie bottom number 
one. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna try make the bottom of one. Yeah, should have enough. Okay, now we got the mother bear gonna make the third one. Um, you wanna film? I'm gonna start cooking. Oh, I'm really bad at cooking, but. Oh, that's Boom, perfect. That was easy and yep. fun. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna split this into three. The bacon's a little bit cooked. We're gonna add in our butter. Once the butter's melted, we're gonna add in our vegetables. Then we're gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of flour. Then we got chicken broth, and for the first batch, we got heavy cream. And once all that's cooked, we put in some fish, and it'll be ready for the first pot pie, the next, and then make them. So our first pot pie is ready to go. Our fish is halfway cooked. And then when, it is, when you put it in the oven, it's gonna fully cook. <laughs> so let's get this one started already. Let's go get our cover. <laughs> <laughs> so Perfect. Nice. Perfect. That looks like a pie. Perfect. First pie ready to go in the oven. Let's go. <laughs> so we're gonna go 400. Let's go about 20 minutes. Let's get our next one set up. All right, so with the eggs, we're gonna brush on the crust when it's halfway cooked. And so when it's fully cooked, it's gonna have that nice crust. I wash crust on it. Okay, and replacement for the heavy cream, we're gonna, for this batch, we're gonna use cream of mushroom. All right, for our fish. Guys, chicken broth. All right, we don't have a brush, so I'm using a little bit of towel. And an egg base on top, kind of solidify Improv the crust. Improvise, no more, no more tools. You improvise. Roll up paper towel. Works just the same way. This thing is smelling amazing. Pot pie number two. <laughs> Pot pie number two, we're going in the oven. Mm. All right, for our final pot pie, we got golden mushroom. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It's definitely so, golden. Mm. <laughs> Let's go in for the final pie. Let's go. 
<laughs> we just so we just wine. That's so much. <laughs> we just overflowing. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how it is. Vegetables a little bit undone, but that's what the baking's for. But that flavor is just oh, flavor is good. Perfect, perfect size. I don't know how to find. <laughs> Mash it in, tuck it in. Looks good to me. So our first pot pie is just about ready. As you can see, the crust is all good. So we tested the potatoes earlier. Potatoes is cooked. We just wanted to cook the bottom of the crust. So everything should just be about ready to go. Look how beautiful that looks. And so for these ones, we're gonna cook the top a little bit more. Then we're gonna put it on the bottom shelf to cook the bottom of the crust. And that should be ready in about 20 minutes. This one's just about done. Okay. Very hot. So I got some bacon, I got some fish, and I got a potato. Very hot. <laughs> Very delicious. Hold oh, on, that is yummy. Woo. Thank you, Long Fins, for the for the inspiration for this recipe. Came out major. We did some tweaking out to it, but. Oh, no, delicious pot pie. Thank you. Pot a new pot, pot a new, pie. Pot a new pot pie. Bingo. Woo. All right, the first pot pie is done. We need some expert taste testers. Make a bowl, have a taste, and tell me what you dress. think. The, the heavy right. cream one, the original. Heavy cream. There you go. First round. Oh, boy, you need that. Does it taste like a pot pie? It tastes like a pot pie. <laughs> like a really good pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our second one is just about ready. This is the one. Oh, smoky. So this one we made with cream mushroom. This is just about ready. We're gonna check it. And we're gonna put this one on the bottom. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the oven off and let the rest of the heat cook. Crust is cooked. Everything looks cooked. I think smells amazing. Oh my god. Okay, we have some fish over here. Some potatoes. Some crust. It's really hot, so we gotta blow. Potatoes cook. Fish is cooked perfect. Vegetables is perfect texture, flavor. Oh my god. Perfect. Oh. Yep. That's a pop vibe. Okay, we're gonna check this last pot pie. This is the golden mushroom one. So what we figured out so far is that the original flavor compared to the cream of mushroom one, everyone's favoring the cream of mushroom one. This is the golden mushroom. So this might even have even more flavor over the, the cream of mushroom. Wow, it's nice. Yeah, this is perfectly made. That just looks magical. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Same, same, but different. Wow, this is, I think, this is tops all three, hands down. Which one is this? The golden mushroom. Golden mushroom. Golden mushroom. Mm. So from our experiment tonight with pot pie, First one was with heavy cream, second one was with cream of mushroom, third one was with golden mushroom, all cooked with maple bacon. So this is the winner. Golden mushroom with the maple bacon, everybody. Homemade crust, all, all organic, free range fish. Woo! 
Ooh. and delicious. Third round, pot pies. So this is all made with one pound of noodles, about almost five pounds, made into three full pot pies. Everybody, all cooked with maple bacon. Super good, but this one is like the best. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Number three is the winner, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite pot pie? One, two, or three. Three by far. Yeah. Oh, bingo, sure bingo. Golden mushroom. Golden mushroom, everybody. Thank you for joining us on this episode. We had so much fun today catching it, cooking it, experimenting with some pot pies as a fish inside. Golden mushroom topped it all. And. Thank you for watching this episode of. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to this episode of. Fishing Grills!